One is always right. One is prefabricated in purity. This is Ralph Nader's understanding of the world. The man needs to go away. I think he needs to live in a different country. He's done enough damage to this one. Let him damage somebody else's now. In the late 60s and early 70s, Ralph would be in national polls as one of the most famous admired Americans. People would write to him thinking that he could solve their problems. And I think Ralph got more mail than the Beatles. Ralph had decided to do six or eight teams attacking different agencies. Members of the press have referred to you as Nader's Raiders. We were going to make the country what it ought to be by working and pressing the system to work. He had built a legislative record as a private citizen that would have been the envy of any modern president. Imagine if you got in a car and the airbag said Ralph Nader, or if the seatbelt said Nader, or you look at the air and it's cleaner and it says Nader on it. If people would see that on a day-to-day -day basis, they'd understand the effect that this guy has had on their daily life. Thank you, Ralph, for the Iraq War. Thank you, Ralph, for the tax cuts. Thank you, Ralph, for the destruction of the environment. Thank you, Ralph, for the destruction of the Constitution. I do think that Al Gore cost me the election. Dad used to work for that guy. I was so proud of all that, and now every time I, you know, what's that crazy guy up to? Maybe if we started talking about civic globalization instead of corporate globalization, the world would move forward. We don't have a government of buying for the people. We have a government of the Exxons by the General Motors for the DuPont. And they killed him for saying that there's not a dime's worth of difference between the two parties. And then the Democrats spent the next four years proving that he was right. Ralph, go back to examining the rear end of automobiles. I think our democracy is a fraud. It's a consumer fraud. He actually believes in the legal system. And he believes in the marketplace. He believes in all these really American things. And he's trashed for it. When I was 10, my father said, well, Ralph, what did you learn in school today? Did you learn how to believe or did you learn how to think? I wouldn't want this to hurt his legacy. I don't care about my personal legacy. 